now from the In Quality Stand at NAB Show at the Las Vegas Convention Center, streaming live around the world, showcasing IPDTL, Hybrip, and Sip.audio. This is KSIP. And here's your host, Dave Carvassier. Randy Thomas is going to join us here. Um, there we go. Now we're uh, getting the call in from uh, just across the way here. All right. Connecting live with the KSIP studio. Holy cow. Dave Curvassier. That sounds like you're like a professional announcer or something. Can you hear this me now? This is great. I do. I hear you Randy, well. you sound great too. And you're on uh, the connection just across the way here, across the booth. Yeah. And, uh, what brings you to the IPDTL in quality booth today? Well, IPDTL is how, those are the new letters that describe my life. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be just four initials that were my daily work, but IPDTL has surpassed and replaced all technology in my home studio hmm. because now that I work with Nightline on a daily basis when they need me, mm -hmm. they dial up two ISDN numbers and bam, they are in my computer, yeah. in my studio, and I have amazing connections with them. Then I'm also being directed daily by different clients over the IPDTL. The booth is really cool. There are some beach chairs here, which <laughs> I was chilling in just a little while ago. Uh, a lot of attraction to the booth because people are saying, wait, there's like a radio station, it says on air. There's a lot going on here. And uh, least of all is all the information. And we've had broadcasters, radio stations, podcasters stopping by, inquiring about the IPDTL lots hybrid. Of, lots of interested parties, and that's why we're here, so we can answer questions. We can bring in some, some new clients uh, for IPDTL and InQuality and Kevin and the team. Mm -hmm. But let me, let me be uh, clear now. You got rid of your ISDN codec box. When I moved from uh, Florida, I used to live on the Gulf Coast of Florida mm -hmm. to Los Angeles, and I called up to find out how I can get two ISDN lines run to my home in uh, Toluca Lake at the time. Right. And when they said, well, we don't know if we have them, but if we do, it's about 600 a month. Ah. I was like, no, I will not be doing ISDN yeah. lines. And that's and in LA then, where it's still present. You can still get an install at least most I of the country. I think you can. Most of the country but you can't anymore. It's prohibitive. And, right. and then, um, I found out about IPDTL. I had actually known Kevin Leach and the product for a long time, but I am my tech ability is very limited, and I didn't think I really understood it. I would go places where they were utilizing the IPDTL technology, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to embrace it in my own studio. And now I do. I can walk other people through it because Townsend Coleman has been my go-to <laughs> tech. He's taught me everything right. I need to know about the technology, and I'm super comfortable with it. And even so, and you say you're, you're kind of a novice at tech, I doubt that, but, but even so, after Townsend showed you how to use it, it, was, it became quite simple, didn't it? It really did, and I'm someone that I have to do something over and over again mm -hmm. till I get it, and Townsend would even encourage me. He'd be like, okay, let's start again. This, you know, do this, this. And he would then he would like not tell me what to do and I'd have to figure it out myself. <laughs> and once I did it a few times, I felt like I've got this. Yep. And now when New York, if they have a problem connecting, uh, I'm like, okay, don't worry. And usually it was something on my end that mm -hmm. I had done wrong. Mm -hmm. So we just start again and boom, my my connection is pristine because I run a, uh, an ethernet right into my router. Mm -hmm. I had a router created just for my garage mm. because I work at a very high level. I cannot have to apologize to clients why things right. aren't working. So I have to depend on my technology. So just by making sure I had an, my own router into my garage with the uh, uh, ethernet cable into it, I'm, I'm rocking. 100% uptime. You can't afford anything else. That's so true. And, and you're, uh, the people who receive your signal in New York City, what do they yes. say about the quality? They love it. I mean, and I can only tell when I, like, say I record with them at 7 o'clock Pacific. Mm -hmm. That's 10 o'clock Eastern. 
and then Nightline airs at 12.30. Right. And, you know, that you always give them more takes than they need. Sure. And so I'm always curious which take did they like, which take do they go with. And when I hear it back on my television just two hours later, they don't even, those guys don't even tweak my audio. Wow. They take it how they get it. That's great. So I am shocked at how good it sounds just with them taking that audio and putting it on television. Yeah. So and I, I no, feel pretty lucky. Uh, that you, yes, we all are these days to be able to benefit from this incredible uh, technology. And, and just to be clear and, and to give credit where it's due, you're talking through a Comrex unit. Now, Comrex is another well-known name uh, in connectivity for, for all of us who use our voice right. uh, for remote recordings. And, and it's just one of the many ways you can reach through and talk to us on IPDTL. That sounds good. And, you know, <laughs> I have a podcast, Dave, so now I'm hanging at the booth ah. today because I want to understand... I could bring my guest into my podcast with the IPDTL That's right. link, but then we could also let certain people know that we are going live and recording a podcast right. and then bring in phone calls during the podcast. This has been something we have not been able to achieve until now. We go live to tape because we drop in the mm, music of mm -hmm. our artists, but we could put it out there online saying, hey, we have... Chris Stein, Deborah Harry's lead guitarist on mm. the show with us uh, in an hour. And if you want to ask him questions, here's the number. And then we could actually facilitate live phone calls. And that would be an amazing new dimension to my podcast. Oh, no kidding. Now, how can people listen to your podcast? It's called the Music Connection Podcast. Music Connection. And it's available on Pandora, iTunes, you know, Apple podcasts, wherever you listen mm -hmm. to your podcast, look for Music Connection. It's a black and white logo that comes up. We've interviewed everyone from Daryl Hall and Don Was and uh, incredible artists that are breaking artists, young, new artists Lovely. that are oh, that's great. unbelievably talented. You know, Dave, I was a DJ forever <laughs> and I don't want to play those old records anymore. Oh, I, hear I love talking to the new artists that are making music today. And there's so much out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's really hard to identify and find these artists, but when I go on Spotify and I see, oh, they have three hundred thousand plays on this song. I'm like, we'll talk to them. <laughs> and and when you call them, you just say, hey, look, uh, give me a shout on your phone. Is that what you do? Well, no, we have been using the Zoom technology, mm -hmm. but that requires them downloading on their end. Right. And so I don't know that Zoom is really what we want. Mm. I think the IPDTL yeah. coming right into my computer is uh, actually going to be better for On the podcast. Much and now that quality. we can integrate live calls, I, I think this is going to be my new uh, platform. Right. Now, do you have somebody assisting you with this show? Yes. So, you know who Bobby Sheldon is out yeah, of Seattle? Yes. Bobby is our producer He's editor. Great. He's amazing. He's he great. Puts such great work into making us sound great every week. Now, is he a techie? He's pretty techie, yeah. He's pretty savvy. <laughs> so I'm guessing he's going to love seeing Hybrip and this new uh, talk show technology that oh, Kevin yeah. has You within. know what? I'm going to go live on Facebook again. He was in my Facebook Live earlier, uh -huh. but I'll do it with the phone call so that we can interact and, and do that live in a you little bet. bit. We'll go Facebook Live again. That'd be great. Uh, so we've been talking here with Randy Thomas. In case you don't know or you live in a cave or something, Randy is you know one of the premier live announcers and voiceover people from Los Angeles. Uh, she's done it all, folks. She's won the awards, and she's, uh, she's announced at some of the most prestigious TV uh, programs uh, in the country, around the world. Randy, you're the, bre you're the greatest for being here and just supporting us today at this booth. Ah, oh, love it. Thank you. It's my <laughs> pleasure to be here.